Sonic Charge Bit Speak Rack Extension is a special vocal processor effect designed to emulate lo-fi speech synthesis. Part of this process involves pitch and amplitude tracking, which are also made available as control voltage modulation sources in Reason. This feature makes it possible to create audio-driven synthesizer configurations so that you can essentially play a synth using a monophonic audio signal like your voice or an instrument. So to demonstrate this, I'll set up a microphone on an audio track to record incoming signals, and I'll arm the track so that I can route live audio into Reason. So now we have live audio coming into Reason. Click on the Show Insert Effects to access the subrack. And I'm going to build the voice-driven synth as a mixer insert rather than a combinator. You could build it out as a standalone combinator, but since it will be driven by an audio track, adding it as an insert is cleaner and faster. First, let's add BitSpeak as an insert. And this is the BitSpeak rack extension from Sonic Charge. We'll tab to the back and view the cabling. And then I'll add a subtractor synth to the insert subrack. Now I'm going to connect the BitSpeak CV out gate and note sockets to the subtractor sequencer control gate and CV inputs. Okay, next, disconnect the BitSpeak audio out. We're not going to use BitSpeak as an insert effect here. And route the subtractor audio output back to the insert return. Okay, let's test this. We're getting close. This is a polyphonic patch, and obviously one of the problems is that it's triggering multiple notes, so ideally you want to use a mono synth patch. Let's open the browser and load a subtractor mono patch like TB synth. Now let's test this again. Now let's expand this patch by using the BitSpeak Volume CV output. We'll connect the Volume CV to the Combinator CV input. And on the Combinator controller, I'll route the signal to modulate volume on the subtractor. We'll check this. Now you can hear that the amplitude of the mic signal is controlling the subtractor output level. Now let's add a second modulation routing to have dynamics modulate the filter cutoff frequency as well as the volume. So there we have our voice-controlled synthesizer. BitSpeak is tracking the live audio from the microphone and in turn triggering the subtractor synthesizer. Keep in mind that this is not MIDI. This is audio being used to trigger a synthesizer. You can record the performance as a live audio signal and even alter note pitches and dynamics using the sequencer edit tools. But the bottom line is that you're basically using your voice to play the subtractor synth.